Hello boys and girls, this is Mr. O, and you are very welcome to another episode of Mr. O Reads Messages with Cats. This is from Katie Wong. She sent this on the 3rd of July, 2020. She says, hello Mr. O, I'm your old student. I love you. Katie, that is so sweet. Thank you. I love you too. Uh, another short one here from Oscar. Sent this on the 25th of July. Uh, he just says hi. Hi, Oscar. Next, this is from Regular Correspondent. Regular correspondent, Ella Chan. She sent this on the 17th of June. Uh, I know her from the BC. She said, Dear Mr. O, what is your favorite cartoon? My favorite cartoon is PJ Masks. How about you? I don't know if I've ever watched PJ Masks, but I have seen it maybe on Netflix or on Pearl. In my superheroes video, I said that my favorite superhero was the Tick, and that's still true. I love the Tick cartoon. I also really like Ren and Stimpy. I think I've watched all of the Ren and Stimpy cartoons. I quite like The Simpsons. I'm not crazy about The Simpsons. Uh, Ella also asked if I can subscribe to her YouTube channel. Uh, she says, you don't have to if you don't want to. Thank you. Okay, let's have a look. Hmm. All right, subscribe and ring that bell. And if you do the same for me and my YouTube channel, not you, Ella, I know you're already subscribed, but I mean you watching at home, if you uh, can subscribe to my channel, that's great. Next one, this is from Ellie Jung. She says, hi, Mr. O, do you remember me? Ellie, one G. Ellie, absolutely yes. I always remember you, especially your laugh. I want to ask you how many times you do it until you get it right. Thank you, I hope you have a nice day. Uh, she sent this on the 29th of July and I think that was just after my, that was just after my, hmm, actually I don't know. That might have been after the MTR games, the bloopers video. I think I, I took a few times to get that right. I know when I did the bubble gum in the Halloween game, that took a, quite a number of takes. Um, throwing the, um, I threw a sweet up in the air and caught it in my mouth. Um, that took quite a few takes as well, so uh, yes. It all takes quite a long time. Um, but you know, you keep trying until you get it right, and then it's cool. Next one, this is from Boris Fong. He sent this on the 30th of July. He said, Hi Mr. O, it's me, Boris from 4C. Do you remember me? Yes, of course I remember you. You know, you were in my class for a whole year. Of course I remember you. I hope you have Messenger so I can chat with you. Bye. Uh, yeah, that would be quite cool. Um, at the moment though, the best and safest way for us to talk is like this. You send me a message to my website I will answer in a video. I know that's kind of a long way round, but you need to be very careful who you uh, uh, send messages to or who you connect to on Facebook or by email and stuff. So yeah, I need to be responsible for that as a teacher. So keep going with this one. This um, don't send me your email address. We can't chat on Messenger but uh, you can always send me a message and I can answer it in a video. Next one is from Hayley Lamb. She said, 
Actually, I like this one. I don't know if you notice, sometimes I correct the messages a little bit. And uh, this, this one kind of made me laugh because uh, not having punctuation in this message, full stops and uh, question marks and stuff, <laughs> makes it kind of a funny message. So originally it was, Hi, Mr. O, I am Haley. How do you do, do you have enough masks? Which doesn't make a, a whole lot of sense. Um, until you put in some full stops, then it's, Hi, Mr. O, this is Haley. How do you do? How do you do? Do you have enough masks? Um, now, Haley and I already know each other. She was my student. So, how do you do is not quite the right word or the right phrase um, that's something that you say to somebody that you first meet so um, I changed it again and I put hi Mr O this is Haley. how are you doing do you have enough masks uh, thank you for asking Haley. that's very kind um, I'm doing very well um, not very happy to be stuck at home again um, back on zoom for classes not too crazy about that, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, we've got to keep safe. I have got lots of masks, but um, because I can work at home, I don't really use a lot, to be honest. I've actually got one of the um, special Hong Kong free government masks. So uh, yeah, there we are. This next one is from HT. She wrote to me before. Um, she said, hello, Mr. O. This is about the topic of rice. We were talking about the differences between Chinese and English. And suddenly you asked me whether cooked rice and uncooked rice are the same in Japanese. So in English, we just have one word for rice, whether it's cooked or not cooked. It's just one word, rice. But in Chinese, there are two words, two totally different words for cooked rice and uncooked rice. Um, and I was explaining this to show how you need to be careful with translating. If you translate a word um, from Chinese into English, you might not get the right word and the other way around. Uh, and then uh, because HT uh, speaks Japanese, um, I asked her, whether there are also two words for cooked and uncooked rice in Japanese. She said, I was so surprised that you asked me, I could not think well before answering. And in the end, I gave the wrong answer. I thought, OMG, oh my goodness. Uh, I told Mr. O they are the same. Actually, the words in kanji are the same as Chinese. So uh, if you know about Japanese, you know that Japanese um, has, I think it's three, three different kinds of uh, writing systems. And uh, one of them is called kanji, and that is Chinese characters. Um, and they have the same, in Japanese, there are the same two Chinese characters. Um, that's what HT is saying to me uh, with this message. So that's very interesting. If uh, somebody wants to write in and tell me how to say the two words for rice in Japanese, I would also be interested in that. Ethan Yu wrote to me on the 11th of June 2020. He said, Hi Mr. O, for the battle, post a 30 second freestyle. Correction from remount is okay. I will post in about three to eight days. So, Ethan, you really do want to battle with me. You think you can beat me in a battle? Be careful, Ethan. Be careful what you wish for. I would like to see your freestyle first, Ethan. So post it and tell me where it is. Is it on YouTube? I don't know. He also said, hope you and your family are healthy. Ethan, that is such a kind and sweet thing to say. Thank you. Um, yes, we are all fine. And um, it's very, very nice of you to ask. Um, that is a really polite thing to say to people these days. Thank you, Ethan. And same to you and to your family. Next, this is a this is one from Grover Lerm, who I know from the uh, BC. He wrote to me on the 31st of July, 2020. He said, hi, Mr. O, you are a good teacher. Grover, thank you. 
That is also very, very sweet. Thank you. I remember your three golden rules. If you've been in uh, my real class, you know that I have three golden rules. Number one, sit nicely, nice and straight, back straight. If you sit nicely, you will be happy for your whole life, I promise you. Uh, rule number two, be kind. Uh, this is also just good advice, just be kind. Uh, rule number three uh, is do better. Do better than yesterday, do better than last lesson, do better than before. Keep getting better. Those are my three golden rules. And Grover has remembered them very well. Thank you, Grover. Uh, your YouTube videos are good. Thank you. I, I try hard with them. Uh, I like the games you taught us. Yes, I taught Grover and that class a few different games. Um, I will show them to you uh, one day. I'm going to finish the MTR games first. And that brings me on to my last message. which is from Sonia Wong, a, another regular correspondent from the BC. She said, hi, Mr. O, it's me again. Smiley face. I watched your YouTube video, MTR Games 4, and I really love it. It is so cool and funny. Thank you, Sonia. That is very sweet of you. Looking forward to seeing uh, MTR Games 5. P.S. I hope you'll make more videos using these effects. I plan to. And uh, the next video, MTR Games 5, will be all about my game, which is Station Warp. Um, I couldn't, I didn't quite get it finished by the time that I showed it to you in MTR Games 4. Um, it works, but I'm going to add um, something at the back to make it look more like a station. I'm getting that tomorrow. Um, I'm also going to put something on the bottom to hide the mechanism. Um, so it's nearly, nearly ready, and when it's completely ready, then I will make MTR Games 5 and 6. There should be two more. By the way, I'm going to auction uh, this game for charity. So, after MTR Games 5, uh, keep looking out, I will give some instructions how you can try to bid and win this game. I will be um, raising money for Save the Children, uh, which is the charity I always support. So do keep a look out. I hope that you like MTR Games 5 when it comes. And uh, if you really like it, and if your parents are happy with you doing so, you can try to bid uh, to win Station Walk. That's enough from me and from my cat. It's time to say goodbye, keep safe, keep wearing your mask. I know it's a pain, keep going with it. We're gonna beat this thing, okay? Keep safe, keep distant. If you think you can touch someone, you're probably too close, okay? If you do have to go back to school on Zoom, sorry about that, it's not the fault of Zoom, it's just the way things are. Keep doing better, Mr. O's golden rule number three. Keep doing better, it doesn't matter that you're online, keep working harder and better and getting better at everything you do and soon we will all be back in school again i am sure so see you next time <laughs>